so excited to be sitting down with yes. Zoe Chase. Yes. It's just <laughs> such such an honor to witness your growth and what you're up to. I'm so excited to talk to you about all the things that you're doing I here. Mean, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. So grateful. Thank yeah. you. Did you always know you wanted to continue the Chase legacy through cooking? Uh, not always. I thought I wanted to be an educator. I babysitted all my 20 million cousins. So I'm like, <laughs> I think I could, you know, do this. And it wasn't for me. I didn't really like it. So I went to my uncle's restaurant in the airport to get a job. And he was like, oh yeah, you could be a hostess. One day as a hostess, I was like, no, put me in the kitchen. I can't do this. <laughs> started to do prep. I was prepping gumbo, jambalaya, you know, everything we fixed here. And I'm like, this is what I need to be doing. I want to continue the legacy. Can you tell me a little bit more about your great, great, great? Yes, Emily Tanette Chase, yes. my great, 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 great grandmother. <laughs> so she originally started uh, the restaurant as a po' boy shop. And her husband, Edgar Sr., you know, believed in her and trusted her to, you know, start this po' boy shop and it did so amazing and great. So they bought this side of the restaurant and opened it and expanded it more into the restaurant that it is now. And Grandmother Chase came then after she married Edgar Jr. She came with her flair and said, you know, I think we could do more fine dining. And that's really how it got started. And you know, that's why it's so awesome to see. I have so many strong women in my family to look up to. So. I don't have no choice but to be a strong woman. It is, you know, amazing to see the legacy of strong women and how they got things done and the men beside them that was, you got it, girl. Like, that was, you know, it's awesome. And now um, the female strong women is my Stella, Tracy Griffin, you know. I look up to them so much because it's hard. Like, I look at them and try to soak up as much knowledge I can because, you know, I'm just in the back cooking. That's easy. <laughs> to run a business every day, and, you know, I commend them, and that's why I'm so grateful to be around them and how they handle situations and just how they keep it going every day. It's just like, wow, like, it's inspiring. It's such a fruitful learning environment. Right, and that's why I'm just so grateful that I could learn, you know, just watch them and see how they do. So one day when I'm ready to open up my business, okay, this is how Stella did it. This is how Tracy did it, you know. That's amazing. Yeah. So you uh, finished school. Yes. Well, you went to New Orleans. No yes. New Orleans Culinary Hospitality mm -hmm. Institute, no key. My work done in Eden Compton at Compare La Pen and Buy Water Bistro. Yes. That was awesome. You worked under uh, Chef Meg yes. at Commander's Palace. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about your premiere event? I have a photo to yes. show you. <laughs> oh, wow. That's Can so you cute. speak a little bit about that event and what, what it meant to you and what was it like? It was awesome. So it was my officiation, my coming out dinner. I had a five course menu and recipe tested for like two weeks. You know, I'm so blessed that my family thought to, you know, have a special dinner for yeah, me. Yeah, to mark and the to, occasion. Yeah, yeah, and my uncle presented me with this beautiful knife bag because I just bought a little knife bag on Amazon. And I remember a long time ago, he was like, no, I know somebody, we're gonna get your knife bag. And he never talked about it again. And I was like, it's fine. And then when he brought it, I was like, oh my God, he kept it a surprise. And it literally has Grandmother Chase's face on it, my name on the back, on the tassels, it wow. says faith and family. And he said, you know, when I go off into the world and travel and go work on the chefs, I'll have grandmother with me and my family Aww. and remembering the faith that we are so strong in and always remember to be grateful and, you know, my family's with me. Thank you for sharing all that you have with us today. To be in the presence of the fifth generation yes. <laughs> of the Chase family here in New Orleans, I am blown away and so excited for the future. You know, we're just so grateful to, you know, get our story out there and to continue the legacy and to many more generations and generations to come of continuing the legacy. Exactly. Y'all ain't going anywhere. We're not. <laughs>